Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Spark Post, which is also known as Message Bird with SendMaze.io. Now, if you look at the pricing of Spark Post, it, it is pretty decent. Now, if you want to send 50,000 emails per month, then Spark Post is only cost you $20 per month. And Spark Post is one of the best SMTP servers out there. It has the best deliverability and it is much, much easier to set up than any other SMTP server provider. And that is why we are going to look at how do you connect Spark Post as an SMTP server with SendMails. You will first have to register yourself in Spark Post. And if you don't want to get started with a premium pricing, then what you can do is scroll down a little bit and then you can try their developer plan, which is completely free and it will allow you to send 500 emails per month. So you want to start with the free test account first, set up everything connected with sendmaze.io and then you can upgrade to send around 50,000 emails per month by just paying $20. So. Let us begin. You click here on get started and you will get a form where you'll have to put your first name, last name and the password. That's it. And that's how you are just signed up with Spark Post. It doesn't take you through a very lengthy process of signing up. So you just need to click here, fill up the form and you will get a dashboard like this. Now, the very first thing you need to do here is connect your sending domain. And to do that, you need to click on add sending domain. Now, once you go here, you'll have to click on add a domain. Now, this is where we are choosing sending domain through which we'll be sending our domain. And here as SparkPost suggest, it is recommended to use a subdomain. For example, you can look at this website. It is app.sparkpost.com. So this app over here is a subdomain. So I already have a domain pulled up over here. The domain that I'll be choosing is sasbirdie.com. So I'll head over to the dashboard and this is where I'll be pasting sasbirdie.com. Now I need to add a subdomain here. So I'll be adding send.sasbirdie.com, but you can add whatever you want. You, you want to name it server you want to name it sending server whatever you want to name it you can put it over here but as of now i'm just going to name it as send.sasbirdie.com and that's it and i'll click on save and continue so here is asking me for the domain alignment so i'm going to click on save and continue now over here you can see it has just given me a couple of dns records that i'm supposed to add in my dns zone editor so very quickly, I'm going to copy the first record, which is this one, but make sure you're not copying the entire thing. All you need to do is copy till here back to my DNS server. And since it is a TXT record, I will be choosing TXT over here. So I'm going to choose TXT and for name, I'll be putting only this part, not my domain name. In most cases, if you're using GoDaddy, Hostinger and all the popular providers out there it's not going to ask you to put the entire domain you just need to copy this part so just copy till your subdomain and you're good to go now you copy the value from here and put it over here and then just click on add record that's it now one more record we need to add for bounce so i'll just copy send and this is a c name so i'm going to go ahead and create a c name and here i'll be putting send and I'm going to copy this from here and paste it over here. That's it. And look at this. This record is added. Now going back, I'll check this and I'll click on verify domain. Now, as you can see, it says you have successfully verified both of your DNX record. Now go to API keys because our domains are already verified. So now here I can create my API keys. So I'll click on API keys and I'm going to name it as sendmails.io because I'm creating a sendmails account and here I'm going to keep the API permission as all and then I'll just click on create a API. That's it. And this is my API key. 
So I'll copy this API key from here. I'll go back to send mails and then just head over to sending and click on sending servers. Click on new server. Now choose Spark Post API, which is this one, and host name. For most of you guys, it's going to be Spark Post Global, but if you have chosen Spark Post EU, then you can choose that. But for most of the guys, it's going to be Spark Post Global because that's what they give you as by default. Now, going back, I'll copy the API keys from here and I'll paste it over here. And that's it. Your sending server is successfully connected with sendmaze.io. So that is it for today. If you have more questions, drop it down in the comment below. I'll be happy to answer all of them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.